Hey guys, it's Comedic Einstein and welcome back to The Walking Dead, a beautiful game where I kill zombies with hammers and shotguns and other things. I'm supposedly some kind of an escaped com convict or something. Um, last time I had chosen to go out during daylight and try to find help. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that or take a skinny dip in this pool. I don't know, either way it works. Clementine, where'd you go? Clementine! God, this little... Oh, okay, there you go. Clementine, gonna follow a little girl into the neighborhood. Cause that's the smartest thing that I've ever done. And probably uh, uh, could ever do. Oh, man. Hey guys, I'm over here. I ain't never getting home tomorrow. Don't get this scared. Way. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Are you serious? Are they still complaining about food? What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Um... They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? I hope these things that I'm choosing are correct, because I don't want to choose something that's going to traumatize that poor little girl for the rest of her life. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little <laughs> one were both gonna give us the <laughs> I shot. thought they were getting scared because I was black. That would have been so racist. What's going on? We're looking for we help. We need help. <laughs> are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta 15 about miles it. back. So scared. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. Clementine. I'm Chet. Hey, don't talk to that little girl, you pervert. We should be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It sounds it like a great idea. There. Yeah, let's go to the farm. Um, a neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Let me shot notice what I said. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Ah, but leave quick. Let's go. Come on, push it. Push it to the limits. Uh -huh. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, push, 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 Get in! Get in! Get in! Oh, okay. What are those guys? Neighbors, too? Woo! Escape in a truck because we're cool like that. Damn, it got dark fast. Did we go to the farm? Is this a farm? Why am I asking so many questions? Oh. Okay, I was gonna relax and take my fingers off the keyboard, but uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh oh, we're gonna meet the children of the corn here. Oh, it's a pretty farm. I like it. Seems nice here. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. What's a it snit? It was nice to meet you both. What's a snit? <laughs> I would not rest until I know what a snit is. Must be in a snit. I guess let's use context clues. I guess Thank that means he's going to be angry. Okay. Who's this guy? I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. 
It's not doing so great. Uh, for a moment there, I thought she was going to rat me out. John, let on, let on check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I could have sworn she was going to be like, no, don't know this guy. And I was going to die or something. Let's have a look. Yeah, take a look at it. Yeah, dude. this is swollen to hell. Yeah, it is, bitch. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. <laughs> what did you say your name was? Jeremiah Smith Jackson. Oh. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Haha, <laughs> look, that's Herschel. Interesting. How'd this happen? Uh. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? Before the car accident. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. It is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We Damn it! another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I hope this didn't backfire I'm on me. looking after her until we uh, find her parents. I'm like lying hey, to you people. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows what it is yet. That's saying it's hilarious. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Teenage girl with her gut spilled out on the floor stood up from the dead and tried to bite me. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already <laughs> said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Well, good, because Thanks. I need to run. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an oh, infection. fuck. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Oh! <gasps> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be perfect. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. Oh, okay, so we're sleeping in the barn. I mean, that's cool. It smells like... Poop? Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? <laughs> it's probably good not to use bad words with her. That's not a good idea. I miss my mom and dad. I'll treat her like a child. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh... Okay. So sad. She lost both of her parents. Or at least that's what we are assuming right now. Because they haven't come back. I love you, baby. <laughs> Did his wife die from the zombies or what? Or what happened? Oh, is that what happened? Did the zombie kill his wife and then... And then he shot them both, and hey, they made it. Get like, up! Like maybe they thought they were cheating or something. Why, he killed them both. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. No, Lucky be. you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, <laughs> huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. <laughs> Duck. Duck? <laughs> yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. 
But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> dumb as a bag he of hammers. He makes up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> That's horrible. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Uh, sure. sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. Clementine, son. That is a very pretty name. It is, bitch. Thanks. Take it. Well, Take it. We should get to work. Don't worry about seeing what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. <laughs> on the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to. Is that girl pregnant? Or she gets big boned? <laughs> I can keep pregnant, an eye on your little bad. girl here on the porch. We can visit. Visit what? What are we gonna do? Repair truck? I'm an auto mechanic. I can do that shit. Can you hop on your truck, bro? It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Or if it's a TBI, it's reliable enough. Okay, should I talk to that, uh, girl? Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. <laughs> I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? That's good. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not, not horses. horses. <laughs> and what is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Definitely can't. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Yeah. Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. He seems fine. Don't you want to go back to the <laughs> moment before you knew about all of this? So that would be nice. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hmm. I like how they, how they talk. They have like good points about everything. I couldn't even begin to imagine what life would be like in a zombie apocalypse. I'd probably go psycho. What about you guys, man? Would you guys go psychotic? Would you guys be able to cope with that crap? Because I, you know how to drive I it? probably wouldn't have. Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. farm bill, though. How would I film my I'm videos? What's well, a good thing he's fortifying everything? Or well, he didn't need my help, right? Is there someone in here? That's where we came from. Okay, let's look around a little bit more. Maybe there's someone up that ladder. Can I go up that ladder? Well, that's pretty much it. Was there someone else over here on this side? Someone over here on this side? Why well, didn't look? You think I can go inside, maybe? Is that possible? No, that's not possible either. So what am I supposed to do here? Are you sure this guy didn't need help? I could definitely help him out. Hey, Lee. Oh, there hey, you go. Man. That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. 
I can totally do that like a magic magic mic. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Was you he don't a zombie see though? Like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. I hope I'm saying yours? the right things. How's your family? Um, not too close to my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Well, you're welcome. I'm a fast cutter, damn, I cut that shit pretty fast. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Alright, bro. If you know what you're doing. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Throw it in a way. <laughs> then a zombie. I mean, I've talked to everybody already. What do I do now? Talking to all these people. Talking to everyone. Cause it's cool. Okay. Do I go talk with him again? You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. Do you need any help over here, Mister Kenny hey guy? There, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Well, fine, bro. We can help you, you out and shit. Help? Yeah, maybe a little what psychiatric mean? help. I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh. Okay. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Well, that's good. That's so your what's plan. your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial I'm fisherman, boat, mother. catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. I mean, that sounds See like you. a good idea, I guess. So now he has a boat, which is a smart... Oh, look, hey, you're over there. That guy was not there before. There's no way to run, right? Hersho, what are you doing with your pitchfork over there? You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not oh, sure he thought... remembered. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. I guess I'll just tell him the truth. I don't even know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? 
Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense Ooh. to listen to a man giving you advice. Okay. Oh shit, 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 shit. Go! I'll get my gun! No! Things were just getting peaceful! <laughs> Why? No, 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 no! <gasps> oh shit, you ran over his leg, you stupid cat! No! No! Fuck! Save him, save him, save him, save him! Did I make the right choice? Fuck! Get out! Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help! I panicked. Look at him. Remember that next time you panic. Please. Just go. Get out! And never come back! Son of a bitch. Did I, did I mess up, guys? Oh, damn it. Should I have saved the guy? I thought the kid was the right person to save. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Damn it. Clementine, are you mad at me? I'm sorry, I thought the best person to say was a little kid, you know, he was younger. I don't know, Father Lee Instincts kicked in or something, I don't know. Damn it. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Oh crap. Not cool. Not cool at all. This place looks horrible. Why did you bring me to this place? Hey look, there's an electronics warehouse. Maybe there's a computer. I can upload my videos there. Uh, <laughs> look! If this boy ends up dying... Even after I saved him hey for that other guy's life, you I'm friendly? gonna be so pissed off. Trucks run out of gas. No, he's not friendly. Obviously, he's eating somebody. Fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, thank God! I was about to say. Run! Corre! Anda, lande, arriba, arriba! 
Get your hands out of the way! Oh shit! Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. Oh, You'll have shit. something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. No, the kid's bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Oh, Over my fuck. dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. This guy's a psycho! It doesn't fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's no. just locked. No, 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 no. He's behind the counter. No, 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 no. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> oh, oh, fuck! Jesus! <coughs> Save her! Save her! <coughs> Are you fucking serious? Get the fuck up! Oh, thank God. Oh, I thought I was doing it wrong. The queue never closed up on itself. No oh, shit. Oh, you okay? Damn. Just great, thanks. Woo! That's hardcore. Is that supposed to be Glenn? Guys. They heard the gunshot. They heard the gunshot. Where's Grode? Where's Grode? Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. 
That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Oh, he's having a heart attack. Holy crap. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? Whew. You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> you got it, boss. How the heck get is he such good at so good at shooting? He looks like a businesswoman. All right, guys. Well, that was a pretty long episode. I'd say it's probably like a half an hour. I'm um, hoping you're enjoying it so far, because I definitely am, guys. And uh, if you did, just go ahead and give it a hit that like button down there. Comment, subscribe, tell me what what you think so far. And um, until next time, just remember entertainment equals me times comedy squared. Peace out and have yourselves a great day, guys. Later.